Hey, Thomas from Field Tennis. Today's topic is everything you wanted to know about the drop shot. We're going to talk about the drop shot technique, we're going to talk about drop shot tactics, and we're going to talk about how to defend against the drop shot. So without further ado, let's get started. So what is the technique of the drop shot? I think you cannot really play a good drop shot if you cannot play a good slice. So backspin either backhand or forehand. So you need to start with that and then you will modify it in a certain way. So I will show you how. So let's say I hit a few backhand slice shots. So these were deep. These are deep shots. They go towards the baseline. So this is how my technique looks for a, for a backhand slice. And now if I decide for a drop shot, so this one was good. This is my technique. The movement is shorter and I'm trying to go more under the ball. So if I am playing a backhand slice, then my racket is going more directly in the ball. So actually here many people make a mistake because they're trying to slice and go under the ball and then the ball doesn't go anywhere. So, so a backhand slice, if hit well, racket is at quite a steep angle at contact. So if this is my angle of contact when I'm hitting a back and slice then I'm when I'm going for a drop shot I am really going more under the ball and short follow through and try to stay in the line so one of the common mistakes when people do when they're slicing they're trying to do something like this, very, very complicated movement, very complex movement. <laughs> and they're trying to, so this one went in, but you're going to hit one in a thousand. So you have to keep it very simple like this with a short movement. So here's a backhand slice. And here's a drop shot. Another point uh, you have to keep in mind that might not be uh, logical or intuitive at first is that you must always move forward with your body, with your body weight into the ball. So your logic or your intuition might tell you that when the ball is coming and you want to play it short, you're kind of feeling I don't, I don't want to give this ball too much force. So when the ball is coming, you're kind of thinking, oh, I will just kind of back off and, and hope that this ball will not go too far. So maybe you play drop shot like this. So, so you can see this ball is coming back. So this will not work. So not in the long term, it's not possible to learn a good drop shot backing off and losing balance and so on. So drop shot is always with no exception played with your body going into the ball. And it is your arm that is learning how, how much force and how, how to absorb the speed of the ball. So here's one more. So here's a forehand drop shot. So again, I will start with a forehand slice. I'm going to be aiming for a deep ball first with the slice. And then I will show you the difference. So so here's a forehand slice. So this ball is deep. This one is deep. And then this is a drop shot. So we go one more time. We go deep, 
So when I go deep, I go, I follow the ball. And here I'm just going more short like this. And I try to keep the racket here. So again, what you might think or feel when you play a, a short ball is that you want to have a soft hand. It's more about soft feel, but the wrist is not soft. You don't want your wrist to be doing this. So I'll show one. I see people like they want to play a drop shot and they do all sorts of like funny wrist movements. That's not how it's played. So my, my wrist is quite firm. I go like this and check and that's it. And I'm keeping the racket head here. So do not slice too much across. It's just, just straight. How to practice drop shot? Here's a nice little drill you can start with on mini tennis. So one player is playing top spin, the other one is playing slice, but you're, you're trying to play a, like a drop shot. Just don't try to play the best drop shot of the year on your first shot. So just try to keep the ball in play a bit, drop shot, and if, if it's really good, then you can stop the point and start a new one. So I don't recommend that you count immediately, just practice. So it looks something like this. And the other player has to hit the ball really nice with a lot of feel. And I'm at first trying to just play the ball a bit deeper. I'm looking for the right arc. If the ball is not right, let's say I had to move back now. I don't want to play the best drop shot. I need to wait for the right ball. So I'm waiting for the right ball. Maybe this one I'm coming in and then maybe I try to hit a really good drop shot. So here's the same drill from the other side, forehand. So we are first just controlling the ball a bit. I'm hitting a slice, Urban is hitting a top spin. If the ball is not right, I'm not attempting a good drop shot. By ball not right, I mean that it's quite deep and it's coming relatively fast to me and maybe I'm backing off a bit. When I'm backing off, I'm not attempting a good drop shot. So always, only when you move forward. So. When I'm going back a bit, I just try to keep the ball in play and I'm just trying to keep this uh, drill alive that we both get some repetitions. So this one is not good for drop shot, so I'm just keeping it in. This one is also not the best for drop shot and this one is better, so I'm trying a really short ball. So here's the next progression of this drill. First you started on mini tennis and now I move back to the baseline but my buddy Urban stays at the service line because I will try to keep the ball in the service box with my drop shot. So first again, we try to just keep the ball in place so that I get a feel, a good feel for, for, for the ball. And then I'm looking for the right ball when I will go a bit shorter on the drop shot. So Urban is playing topspin, I'm playing slice, but I'm keeping it short, I'm practicing I'm trying to find the right force, the right speed, the right height. So see, this one was a bit too high. So every shot I make is giving me feedback. And then I'm looking for the right shot. So again, you're going to miss, of course, many times. This is not a one minute drill. It's a few minute drill where you're working on your feel and you're trying to find the right combination of slice, speed, height, and so on. So looking if I can play, so this one is too long. Maybe this one is good. So you can play the same drill, of course, from the backhand side. So again, keep in mind, you don't attempt a really good drop shot off every ball, right? Uh, hitting a good, good drop shot also means that you know, that you can read the situation, that you know when is the right opportunity. So. In reality, of course, you will not be keeping the ball in the service box, but you will be playing it deeper and maybe with topspin. But when you're doing this drill, you're working on your feel, trying to keep the ball relatively short. You're slicing the ball, you're getting good feel for slice. 
and then you're waiting for the right ball to really go for the drop shot. Otherwise, you're just keeping it in the service box so that you develop this nice feel of playing short balls. So whenever I, I start a rally, I want to keep maybe three or four balls, three or four shots. I'm not really attempting a drop shot. I'm just, I'm just trying to control the ball in the service box. So this one is a bit long and then I'm looking. This one is not right. Maybe this one. 